Hello guys, welcome back to S3D. So today I'm going to be fair to uh, BBTS because uh, this is like one of the retailer plus Amazon that I often criticize on. So uh, I was told that they have insane deals here on BBTS. Uh, this is not even Black Friday. Apparently uh, they have some deals that are out of this world. Uh, one of my friends said he picked up uh, Storm Collectibles figures for like 60 bucks. I mean, it doesn't seem that crazy, but uh, I guess it might be. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. Uh, Storm Collectibles huh? for, well, this is not 60 bucks. This is like, this is going to be at least $80. Uh, original MSRP on this figure was $134.99. I seen it as low as 90 bucks, so... This is definitely not like a super good deal, but we'll see. Any deals here? Nope, that reptile is not priced very well. It's Balrog maybe, 90 bucks. Eh, not really, not really seeing anything uh, insane here. I know they had a Dimitri from Darkstalkers for like 60 bucks or something like that. Yeah, I'm not really seeing uh, crazy prices here. Well, unfortunately, yeah, I might have missed out on some of these uh, so-called incredible deals. Yeah, like, uh, they, Dimitri was supposed to be like 60 bucks. Oh, I think it's like the alternate color version or something. Oh, this one, this one right here was like 60 bucks for like one day or something. Yeah, but keep in mind, you can actually buy these uh, from overseas retailers. Some of them have clearance on these for as low as uh, perhaps like $40 or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I know the Scorpion. This Scorpion you can get for $150 now. Okay, well, I'm not too impressed over here. Let's take a look at Robot Spirits. I think this is like the biggest problem with the BBTS, like a lot of their uh, Tamashi Nation stuff is just not priced competitively. <laughs> well, actually, it's not bad now. Uh, it used to be like much, much higher than everybody else. Uh, the Peabody stuff, I can kind of understand. Uh, it, it's like basically almost scalper level, a little bit above scalper level prices. Mm, give or take $10. But uh, yeah, the, these prices aren't exactly terrible. Although you're not going to be competing with Amazon with that kind of price. Amazon has dual for like $40. So that, that is... Uh, yeah, Amazon has uh, Aerial for like 39 So, ooh-wee, this one, huh? Exclusive? Yeah, I can tell you, I don't think anybody's buying that guy. <laughs> I've been sitting on it for a long time. Yeah, Amazon has Rick Dom's Y for like $35. That's how popular this thing is. Even the Jim Quell is like... Yeah, and I just sold a bunch of uh, uh, full armors for like under $50. That price is definitely not going to attract anybody. Although, this Red Warrior here, that that actually, it's a, that's a good price actually. That's a very good price. It's incredible, but it's, it's not very popular. They probably had this thing since it came out uh, two years ago and just been sitting on it. Yep. 
Yeah, I think when it comes to like the Tomashi Nation stuff, uh, this is my biggest turn off for the BBTS. But then, you know, who buys Tomashi Nation stuff from BBTS, right? Even the SH figure arts, I don't think it's com priced competitively. Well, actually, I guess it depends on the property. The Dragon Ball stuff doesn't look too bad, and the Naruto, because uh, those things tend to uh, go on clearance quite often. That Bardock is actually the perfect price. That that's how much it is. So, yeah, for figure arts, not terrible. Uh, trunks, yeah. Well, I had those sold out, about to sell out, uh, but uh, they they still have it there for pre-order. Dude, this Vegeta, I don't know what's going on with this GT SSJ4 Vegeta, but uh. Everybody's selling it for like $39 or 40 bucks, like brand new. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or it's just not popular, but damn. Is it, is it a reissue? No, it's not even reissue. Just like, I'm actually curious so much about it. I want to like check it out, but I don't want to like go borrow one and open it <laughs> and then having to pay for it yeah oh the chun li reissue is only 79 bucks 80 bucks well that's like 15 dollars more than what it used to be yeah so just like just exactly as i expected you know i was telling people this thing's gonna be like 20 dollars more than the uh, previous release and essentially it's the same figure I wonder if they have Jada toys. Oh yeah, these are all priced very well. I don't know why they're Chun-Li uh, still on pre-order status when everybody has them already. Like Target has so many of these. Uh, yeah. Like, every Target that I went to so far in Northern California has uh, Chung Lee's. So. Oof. Yeah, these are these are actually not bad prices. But uh, the thing is, Macari is just flooded with these figures. Uh, you can basically get it below retail if you're lucky. Some people are willing to negotiate prices. But keep in mind, you still have to pay shipping. So... Yeah, it might end up being the same thing. I am looking for something that is just deeply, deeply discounted on BBTS. I'm sure I'll find something because they always do have good deals. And yeah, I think about like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I was really <laughs> going hard on how uh, something about their pricing. Uh, because, yeah, like, I, I was with this uh, this core group, with these uh, Marvel Legends collector who recently got banned or something like that from BBTS, and they were telling me so much crap about this company. Some of it were true, you know, some of it is being, them being biased. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I guess every every retailer has issues. At least they're still in business. Uh <laughs> Let's just say, like, some of the stuff isn't, like, priced very well, but some stuff are, you know. It, it really depends on what, uh, you know, what they're selling, actually. Uh, but supposedly, uh, they are pretty good for some really weird stuff because they're willing to take risk a lot on a lot of these imports. Someone saying, like, uh, this company is very lean and they don't tend to uh, take a lot of risk. Uh, I completely disagree with that. I think that's like a fake guru statement. Uh, BBTS have been known to take a lot of risk on uh, uh, some really, really questionable products in the past. So, yeah, I don't think that's entirely true. I think they have a lot of stocks on a lot of uh, uh, questionable products that probably... Uh, 
I don't think it's going to sell very well. For example, these kind of things. I'm I'm getting really disturbed just looking at it. I mean, seriously. Like... That is disturbing. Someone actually sent me some photos of that uh, the other day. And I was like, what the hell are you sending me? Okay, well, uh, take a look at this one. What scale is this figure? It's Kotobukiya. Oh, it's a model kit. So basically, it's like the, I guess it's like the governor type figures. The hexagear. No idea what scale it is, but it's like seventy it's five dollars. Let's see. Oh, he's a one twelve scale model kit, huh? That is definitely uh interesting. The hexa gears are not one twelve scale. So let's see what is in this line. Just two figures. A do and a gal. So being 112 scale, I'm guessing they are going to be compatible with the uh, frame arms stuff. Well, not bad, see? Like, I knew for a long time that they, uh, they do uh, carry some very uh, carry stuff that other people don't want to sell because uh, they're testing the market. And when you, often when you do that, you end up, you know, with a lot of stuff that you potentially can have to just clear and sell and lose money on. I mean, they're also known to, uh, uh, you know, do uh, deposits, require deposit on certain items that they don't, you know, they, they had like bad uh, experience in the past. Yeah, you know what? I think in a way I was being sort of unfair because uh, I base a lot of opinions based on my own personal uh, bias due to the fact, you know, I'm looking at the robot spheres figure and I just can't understand why they cost the way they do. And also from a lot of people who have been banned from the store for various reasons. I was told, like, if you criticize them uh, online too much, uh, they will single you out and then, like, just ban you or something like that. Yeah, and then there there are always people telling me, like, the BBTS just don't ship their stuff for whatever reason. I, I know they're, uh, they do cancel pre-orders and stuff like that, and if you don't make your uh, uh, pay for your stuff in time, they can cancel your whole thing or something. Or they can even... Uh, you know, cancel stuff that you already pay for, which, <laughs> yeah, I, I never, I never do the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, I have never done anything sort of like layaway where some people, uh, I think they call it like the, uh, the pile loot and stuff like that. So you can add stuff to your, uh, your storage and then they'll ship it out to you. Uh, Hobby Link Japan does that, and I think BBTS does it. I don't know who started first, but somebody copied uh, one another, and other retailers do it too. It's like, yeah, you can just uh, you know add stuff to your order, and then we'll ship it out to you once uh, you know all the stuff coming. In. Yeah, you know what? At this point, I, I don't think uh, there are any. Th any different from anybody else it's like it's not like the most amazing prices but it's definitely not bad uh personally i don't have any experience with like you know getting screwed over uh, all i know is uh, i'm very biased because of the pricing on certain type of products and uh, just fun you know all these people telling me all these negative things about bbts uh that kind of, you know, I and maybe like, you know, if I personally have a bad experience with them, maybe uh, that would be a more valid uh, uh, for me to do a, like a more critical video about it. But I don't think it's really that bad. I definitely see some fair pricing on a lot of these.
things that you know some of my viewers will be interested in, especially the Kotobukiya stuff. They do actually carry a lot of Kotobukiya. This thing is on pre-order. Oh, this is actually a pretty good kit, actually. A really nice one, actually. Yeah. Oh! Wow, this one actually had the... No way. Okay, so basically, uh, this is an improved version of the previous one, and I really want to see how they improved it. So I think they increased the details or something like that. So the one to the right is the updated version. You can see there is difference. I don't know if it's just panel lining or it's just difference in color, but it looks better. The color looks better. And <laughs> it's got all the effect parts. Yeah, if this one was on sale or something like that, I would definitely jump on this one. I think that price is more than fair. Yeah. But you know what? I'll, I'll find something. You know. <laughs> I, I didn't really think about it for like almost a year and a half because I was just not really caring about collectibles but now coming back to it uh perhaps perhaps i've been too harsh on the bbts <laughs> yeah like the uh the idea of them canceling people's stuff that they already pay for that seems kind of weird to me but uh Uh, everything else, I think, is uh, not as bad. Yeah, just <laughs> just be careful with the uh, Tamashii Nation stuff, especially with the Robodamashi. Like, some of the pricing over there seems a little high. Yeah, the Kotobukiya stuff, I think uh, it's actually not bad, yeah, especially the Me Mega Man model kits. Those are better than uh, even what I and my friends can offer. Either they're getting like a super good deal on it or, you know, they somehow can sell it at that price and make a profit. Because Kotobukiya stuff is actually not that easy to get. Okay, so I think that's that. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye out. I think uh, there, there's definitely good deals to be had, especially when it comes to uh, model kits and stuff like that, certain model kits. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.